iOS 17.3 is out and it's got a fantastic new feature which the iPhone desperately needed. Should you wait or should you upgrade? Let's find out in this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just a small reminder, I urge you to please hit the like and subscribe button because that really helps my channel grow and it encourages me to make more videos for you just like these. So without any further delay, let's dive in. Right, so let's start with the size of the update. Since I was on developer beta program and for me the RC build was 6.39 GB but if you are updating via Wi-Fi via over the air it should be somewhere around 7 to 800 MB. If you are using your Mac to update your iPhone you will get a similar size of 6.39 GB. Updating via Wi-Fi over the air has a smaller update size as it only adds the new features and does not have a full iOS version. It doesn't mean that there is going to be any difference between the two. It's absolutely the same, it's just how Apple has configured it. The main reason why you should update to iOS 17.3 is because of stolen device protection. This is a major update and I'll show where you can find it. Go into your settings, come down to face ID and passcode. Once you enter your face ID or passcode, scroll down a little and this is where you'll see the brand new feature called stolen device protection. By default, this is off. You need to turn this on immediately. Now what this does, it adds an additional layer of security to your iPhone in case someone knows your passcode and steals your iPhone. If you think that this is uncommon, well let me tell you there have been a lot of iPhone thefts around the world and what these thieves do is that they manage to get your passcode. Finding out your passcode is generally very easy. It could be in a crowded place like a bar and someone can see you enter your passcode. Most people enter very easy passcodes as it's convenient for them to unlock it quickly like they set it to all zeros or all sixes, one to three. 456 and anyone who's glancing at your iPhone can easily figure it out. Once the thief steals your iPhone, they can quickly use that passcode to go and lock you out from your device and from your iCloud account. Enabling this feature will put an end to all of that. So let's turn it on. Once you enable stolen device protection and you try to change your passcode, you won't be able to do it without your face ID. Let me show you. If I try to turn my passcodes off and I click on it, it's asking me to scan my face and if I don't scan my face, it's not giving me an option to enter the passcode. Whereas on 17.2 or 17.2.1, you could do the same by just entering the passcode again. So if your phone is stolen and the thief knows your passcode, they can easily go and turn this passcode off or even change the passcode. Same method can be used for logging into your iCloud account which is very dangerous. Also if you go into passwords. When stolen device protection is on, it's asking me to unlock it with face ID only. It does not give me an option to enter my passcode. This is where Apple has made all the changes and guys, you know your passwords are very, very important. You could save your banking passwords, email accounts, Instagram and if those passwords fall in the wrong hands, you could lose everything. So now till I don't enter my face ID, it's not going to display any passwords of mine. There's one more feature that has been added to this. If I try to change my passcode, since I'm at my home right now, it's allowing me to change this. But if I wasn't at a safe location like my home or office, when I click on change passcode, there will be a one hour delay. So the first time you click on this, the timer will start and you won't be able to enter your new passcode till that one hour timer expires. So this is an additional feature and it just makes your iPhone a whole lot safer. This is a major update and it has been implemented on the iPhone after years. So go ahead and turn this feature on right now. The next update that comes in iOS 17.3 is with regards to Apple Music. They have now added collaboration on playlists and emoji reactions. This is one feature that I really wanted on Apple Music because I could never collaborate with my friends or family to create any playlists. So now collaborate on playlists is enabled and you can even react to any songs using emojis. So this is a great addition. Once you go into playlists and if you create any playlist like I have over here, there's a new button on top as you can see right here. Once you click on it, you'll be able to invite other people to join this playlist and then they can start collaborating with you. They can add their favorite songs, you can listen to it, you can then further like those songs and this is a great feature that was missing from Apple Music. There has also been a small update on your warranty information. So if you go into settings, general, here you'll be able to see it says Apple Care and Warranty. It used to say coverage over here, but now once you click on it, it will give you a list of all your devices that are associated with this Apple ID and it also shows the current status of your warranty. So all the ones that are currently active are showing over here and the ones that are expired show in the bottom. They have also gone ahead and updated the images next to it to be more precise. Earlier there was just a grayed out icon of the products over here but now it shows the actual colors of all your devices. It's a small touch but it does add to the overall experience. Apple AirPlay has also got a big update in iOS 17.3. If you go into settings, general, AirPlay, 
you'll be able to see that AirPlay receiver has been added. You can click on that. I'm sure you're aware that Apple has recently launched their Apple Vision Pro. It's not yet available in India, but it's definitely available in US. And if you turn this feature on, you'll be able to stream from Apple Vision Pro to your iPhone. Also adding to this feature, AirPlay can now be used at hotels. So when you go and stay at a hotel, you'll be able to stream your content via AirPlay to the TV and you don't need to sign in with your Apple account, which is so convenient as you don't want multiple devices to have your Apple ID logged into it when it doesn't belong to you. Of course, this feature is not going to be immediately available everywhere because hotels will have to upgrade their TVs to add this feature. LG has also announced that they're coming out with TVs which will support this feature. So a couple of years down the line, you'll be able to use this feature in full swing. As of now, if you go to any friend's house or relative's house and their TV does support Apple AirPlay, you'll be able to stream content off your phone without ever signing in. The next small addition to iOS 17.3 is a brand new wallpaper. I know you guys may not consider this as a major update, but it's a new addition, so I have to mention it. This is their brand new Unity Bloom wallpaper, and it also comes with a cool animation when you lock and unlock it. So go ahead and give it a try. Car crash detection has also been further optimized in iOS 17.3. If you have iPhone 14 and 15, car crash detection is available on your phone and hopefully you never ever have to use this feature, but it's there when you need it. Apple has further optimized car crash detection so that there are no false triggers like if you're going on a roller coaster or a jet ski, there won't be any false trigger like before. I've been using iOS 17.3 for the last six days now and as far as battery life is concerned, it's been A1. In fact, I feel that I'm getting slightly better battery on 17.3 as compared to 17.2.1 one but it's a very nominal amount so battery has been stellar and as far as performance is concerned i haven't seen any lag or any bug so i can say with confidence 17.3 has been buttery smooth now you know what's new in ios 17.3 so should you upgrade or should you wait well in my opinion you should upgrade to it right now the stolen device protection feature is a must and all of you should enable it immediately having this feature turned on can literally save you from harm so go ahead and turn that on right now if you're thinking to yourself that i might as well wait a couple of days just so that I can figure out if the battery life is good or not. I've been on the RC version, which is the released candidate version. It's part of the beta program for the last five days and I have had no issues with battery whatsoever. So release candidate version is literally the version that you have right now. It gets launched to the public later, but we beta testers get our hands on it earlier. And I can tell you with confidence, there's no performance issue. There's no battery drain. In fact, battery life is better on 17.3. So go ahead and update your device and stay protected. If you've watched this video so far, it means that you like this video. So go ahead and click on the like button and also subscribe. That'll really help my channel grow. I hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next one.